I'm Joe Menchewski from Bill Did It. We are a, a drum accessories and hardware manufacturer from Canada, and we are the newest members of the Sabian family. I wanted to show off some of our new products for 2014. This is, uh, this is the uh, Cody Exchanger. This one's been out for just a little bit better than a year, but this is a, uh, an auxiliary hi-hat that you can adjust on the fly. Typically, an, uh, an X-hat is, is static. You set it, and, and it's where it's stuck in that same position for, for your performance. This gives you the opportunity to open and close the hats over about a one-eighth of an inch range during a performance. This is an easy adjustment rocker switch. You can adjust what the tightest position is, and then you've got about an eighth of an inch of range of motion. So all of a sudden, you, you've got an X-hat that is now completely variable while you're in the middle of a performance. This one is our probably our most, uh, uh, has got the most traction of our, our newest product. This has been out for about six months since this gentleman is working with here. This is called our Cody Cymbal Topper. The idea was to make a, uh, a quick release cymbal topper, a replacement for a wing nut that would not wear out. It would be nice and light and easy to use, but would not wear out. So the design is simple. You squeeze and you go sideways to take it off. It's a plunger that goes into a, into a hollow. And so there's almost nothing to wear there. So we expect this to be a very, very long life product. It's doing very, very well for us also. Our next product is a uh, what's called the, the Cody Rotator. And if you remember the old Aquarian cymbal springs, it, it gives a lot of freedom of motion to the cymbal. But what we wanted to do was to keep it in the same, uh, on the same plane or on the same axis. So it's got a cool range of motion. As you can see, the post is actually moving because it's on a ball joint. That ball joint allows us the cymbal, the, the entire arrangement to move. So you get a whole different kind of freedom with, with the uh, with the symbol itself. Now you can adjust that tightness from underneath. As you see, there are two nuts under here. The top nut goes up and down. If you bring it up higher, then the thing is tighter and it won't move as freely. You bring it down, then, it, then you've got more freedom of motion. When you bring the two nuts together and lock them together, that's your position and it's set and forget. Once you find how you like it, it's there forever. For those of us who don't want any sort of wing nut and just want a really easy tear down and set up, we've got the Cody cymbal post. Ta-da! It's just an extension that you put on the top of your cymbal stand and there's no need to ever have a wing nut or a topper of any sort. Um, ultimate in ease of tear down and setup. and for guys who don't want any restriction at all on the cymbal, this gives you the most freedom that you could possibly have. This little gadget in my hand here is a tool that we call um, the Cody Kit Key. It's a drum key at one end, it sort of looks like a uh, Swiss Army knife, but when I open this up, I've got a hollow inside here that I can then use to work on, say, a tight wing nut, right? So instead of grabbing those two sticks like you're having to do at the end of the night, I've got a hollow in here that gives me all the leverage I need. So when my hands are tired after a gig, I can tighten and loosen the wing nuts without any issues because of that extra leverage. This is a very different concept. This was inspired actually by uh, Flo Meunier, a metal drummer from Montreal. And he, uh, mo most of the younger folks, or younger drummers are playing with very tight hi-hat spacing. They're doing a lot of double kick work, so the hi-hat is often used as just almost like another cymbal. So they keep the hats nice and tight so that when you hit them, they're always, uh, they're always in that nice tight position. So why do you need a clutch? It, it brings the question, why would you ever need a clutch? So instead of a clutch, what we do, you drop in your bottom hat, and then you drop in this simple little gadget. This is, we call this a, a wash control. And what it does, you open and you close this wash control, and it determines how, what your hat spacing is going to be. Okay? So once I set how wide I want this hat spacing to be, I drop that on, and it's not going to move. It locks in place, so you've got it permanently set for whatever spacing you like. You drop the top symbol on, and now you are where you need to be. There's no fooling around with a clutch. This, this plunger top drops into your pull rod. I lock it in place. And now, although 90% of the time I'm just using this as an open symbol, I can still choke off. So I've got control. You can't really play eighth notes with your, with your left foot or anything, but that's not designed for that kind of player. This is designed for the guys who are playing fast and hard and want the... Uh, want the symbols just a tiny little bit open. So your, your audience are the guys that this was created for. 
and it was Flo's concept that, that inspired this. Okay. Where can people find you? Uh, www.billdidit.ca.